everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be teaching you about html so in this video i'm going to cover all the basics you know nothing fancy just the basics but there will be more parts of this video coming in which i will cover most stuff such as html forms and frames and stuff like that anyways let's get right into it so which are what are html tags so the html tags are used to create html they detonate various elements in html their keywords enclosed in pair of angular brackets, which is this and this right here. There are two types of uh, tags. There is one container tag, which have a start tag and an end tag. For example, this body. This is the start tag for the body, and this is the end tag for the body. The end tags are identified with the forward slash. So within the container tags, you can write anything which is related to that. For example, in body, you write everything that, is, that we're going to add in the HTML document. So this is the start of the tag, the content, and the end. You know, you can add more lines and everything. Yeah. Okay. Then there are empty tags which have no closing tag. For example, the IMG tag. Uh, whichever tags I'm going to be talking about in this video, you don't worry about that because we are going to get into them later on. Okay, so these are the types of tags. Then next we have tag attributes. They provide extra information about the elements. They are written in start tag, which is this one. In this example, this is the start tag. Attributes are written in start tag and they're followed by the equal to sign and then the attribute value. Attribute value is written in double quotes. For example, if we just wrote here, IMG align equal to left. So here, the align is the attribute for the IMG tag. So as you can see, just as I just spoke, the attribute followed by the equal to sign and then the attribute value. So left is the attribute value of the align attribute. Now I'm just going to talk about uh, some basic HTML tags. First, I'm going to talk about this one, HTML. It detects an HTML document. Now I'm going to talk about the head tag. It contains information about the document. For example, if I just came here, head. Now, when you start a head tag, it is, let me just say, it is a container tag. So your head, and then after you write head, you write title. Then you go one line down and you can write whichever you want to be titled. I'm just going to write it as HTML. Then you enter. Title is also a container tag. So we uh, write the closing tag for the title with a forward slash and then slash head. There. Now when we'll open it in Google Chrome, it will show the title we just wrote. I'm going to demonstrate right that, that right now. One more thing before I show you guys this each, uh, this head tag is that we have added new information here the document is not saved if you have not already saved the document to your computer for example it says untitled here then you just press ctrl shift and s or go to save as in the file tab and you can save it but with that you have to write dot html at the end so while saving it you just go and write any title for example html or you can just write sample for example as the name of the file right here sample and after sample you write dot html to detect that this is an html document and if it is already saved to your computer like mine and you added new information hit ctrl s on your keyboard or, or go to file and press save so press save and now when we go to Google Chrome, we have to press the reload button to show the new edition. And now as you can see, we press reload and title is HTML. Then finally, we have the body tag. These are the basic tags of HTML. So in body tag, it contains everything you write inside the document, unless you write making frames. There's another video I made on that. So go check that out, it will be on the top right corner of the screen as I'm speaking and will be linked in the description. Okay, it has uh, some um, it has some attributes too, for example the BG color tag, 
which is the background color of the document your bg color equal to and then now we write the attribute value it can be any color i'm gonna go with blue now go over to google chrome okay here we went to google chrome and we saved the file but it's still not coming here for that we need to do just one simple thing press the reload icon on the top left of the screen there the background color is now blue now i'm going to talk about some more attributes of the body uh, tag the bg color we just went through it text this attribute specifies the color of the text of the entire document we can also change the color of the text for a specific part of the document but we'll get to that later so let's just right away here when you're writing two attributes for the same tag no need to do anything no commas just give a space oops go here give a space now i'm gonna write the other one which is text equal to let's say red it can be any color now once again save the file and go to google chrome and again press the reload icon right here there the text is now red <laughs> then we have the left margin attribute this attribute of the left margin of the page the value can be given as a number or in a percentage the top margin is the same thing but it sets the top margin of the web page those are all the attributes for the body tag now another thing if we want to add another line after learning HTML, for example, I want to write this is part one. Now we have written this in two lines, but the document itself does not detect it as two separate lines, which I will show right now. So once again, save, go to the Chrome right here, press the reload. There, as you can see right here, they're in the same line, but when we go to Notepad. They are in different lines. To fix this, we just need to add one tag, which is BR. This is an empty tag. I talked about that in the starting of the video, as it has no end tag to it, just BR. This means break and switches the line. So I'll show that right now. Save. Go to Google. And reload. They're in separate lines. Huh? That's how you fix it. You can also use the P tag instead of BR1, but I'll get to that later on. Now, just a quick summary. HTML makes a web page. Uh, when saving the HTML file, you must include .html at the end of the name. There are two types of tags, empty tags and container tags. With the container tags, there is a start tag and the end tag. The end tags start with a slash. There are different tag attributes. And the attribute is always specified in the start tag, and the attribute name is not page sensitive. The space between the tags does not matter. For example, if you were to write br like this, it doesn't matter. It will be the same as this. But there should be no space between letters of the tag name. For example, we have HTML right here. See, this this is incorrect. It must be like this. The attribute name is not case sensitive. So that's gonna be it for the basics of HTML for this video. Stay tuned for part two in which I'll go deeper into HTML and I'll be making more parts. I will cover all of HTML at least try to. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something new, please press that like button and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.